Hi, so this is the um, TM240A uh, automatic pick and place machine which I just received in the mail today so I am going to do a quick uh, test run and to see uh, to demonstrate how this works um, so this is a fairly uh, low-cost um, automatic pick and place machine um, there are actually two um, models which are related. So this is the TM240A. There is also a, a, there's another popular model, TM220A. The difference between them is the 240A, which is this model, uh, has more component uh, the feeders, um, and uh, it uh, you know it's it's bigger. It uh, has a larger uh, PCB um, area. So um, and it's also a little more expensive. So I think I paid. Uh, basically around uh, $5,500 including the uh, machine, the uh, shipping from China, and uh, also a repair, uh, repair kit. Um, so altogether about $5,500. So I'm going to turn it on and there's a power switch at the back. And so as soon as it's turned on, you can see that uh, it uh, performs uh, self-test process and uh, it uh, tries to uh, align the um, the uh, the pump head and then after it's done then it, it beeps and uh, signaling that it finished the self-test um, so here um, the component feeders um, I've put two rails here uh, just for uh, testing purpose uh, they are both uh, 0805 uh, size uh, resistors and uh, so uh, in the package uh, you will receive a, a, a sample PCB like this one uh, and then they also give you a lot of uh, double-sided tape so I put a, a piece of double-sided tape here and uh, so this way you can quickly test the pick and place machine without actually applying the um, um, the um, stencil, uh, the, the solder paste. Okay, and then down here there is an SD card slot. Um, so you can put your uh, pick and place the configuration files um, in this, on the SD card uh, so this can operate without a computer. And then there's a touch screen. Uh, so on the SD card there is a sample uh, configura configuration file which goes with the sample PCB. So I'm going to select this and then click on load and now the configurations have loaded and basically here uh, is a list of information like you know the head index, the stack index, XY um, uh, uh, offsets, rotation angles, height, uh, etc. So if you, you look at this machine it actually um, so one nice thing about it, it has two uh, uh, pump heads, so that means it can do two components at the uh, in one shot. Uh, so that makes it go uh, really fast. Now to uh, start, um, I'm going to press the um, um, this start button, and then you will see um, the machine uh, w uh, working in action. So you can see. So the machine is quite noisy uh, when it's in action um, and there's one uh, feature which is the step feature and which allows you to uh, run the machine step by step so you can see the whole process uh, and so I press the step and you can see this rotates the, the pump head and then another step it, it places the components down and so right now because um, since I'm using uh, 0805 components and that's probably doesn't match uh, those on the circuit board so you, you can see these components really piled up at the center um, but as soon as it moves to the boundary uh, which is, is the correct size then you will see uh, the, um, that the machine actually places components fairly accurately so I'm going to return back to the continuous mode so to let it uh, run on its own there's also a high speed button so I can turn on high speed and you can see that the machine moves in full speed.
Okay, so now it has finished. So this is the final result. So um, you can see that at the center there is this pile of uh, components, and that's that's just because uh, I don't have the uh, the correct um, size of of uh, it is, there are probably uh, 0603 um, or 0402, but I'm actually I'm actually using 0805 components. But on the boundary here, you can see these components are positioned quite well. Um, so, and especially, you know, there's a, maybe these, uh, there's a little bit of shift, uh, it's not completely centered, but there's, this is no problem at all for the reflow process. Okay, so that's uh, a quick demo to just to show how the machine works. Um, and thanks for watching.